This is the video for Module 4, Lessons 13 and 14. You're going to need quite a few things. So you will need all six triangles, and those will need to be cut out neatly. Um, just cut right along the black line. So do that before we really get started. You'll also need this recording page, and there's some graph paper on the back, your problem set, that's for you to do when you know everything about triangles. And then your protractor and some type of straight edge. Um, you do need to measure, so it needs to be a ruler. You can use either side, uh, inches or centimeters. All right, so what I want you to do um, is to just think about triangles for a minute. Name a couple of things real quickly that you know about triangles. Pause the video if you need to before I tell you them. Okay, you know that triangles have three sides, which means they also have three angles. Um, the length on the sides of triangles can be different. They can be real short, they can be real long, and they can all be the same size or they don't have to be the same size. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this sheet um, in groups. So. Um, when I said you needed these, like I said, I didn't say you'll have some for each group. If you're watching this um, and you weren't at school, then you'll have some just for yourself. And you'll have to do all of them, and it'll take you a little bit longer. All right, but what you're going to do with your triangles is split them up amongst the group. If the whole group does all six of them, it's going to take you a long time. So try to take only about maybe five, eight minutes or so and every triangle needs to be measured. So you're going to use your protractor. You need to measure each angle and then write them on here. You're going to write them on the sheet also, but um, you can do that maybe at the end when every triangle is done and you guys can go back and record them or do it as you do each one, it's totally up to you. So you're going to measure each angle and write the measurement in degrees and then you're going to measure each side all right one of I think I started with inches and then I moved to centimeters it really does not matter um, what you're really trying to see is how many of the angles are the same or different how many of the sides are the same or different all right so one of the things that you need to know is that every triangle it does not matter the size it does not matter the length if all the sides are the same or different every triangle when you add up the three angles it equals 180 degrees all right so it's like a big long straight edge uh straight line there that has been broken and meets Okay, so it has to equal 180 degrees when you add them up. So that'll help you determine if you have them correct or not. Um, with measuring with your ruler, make sure I still have like just a little bit of edge around mine, and that's okay if you do or if you don't. But make sure that whatever side you're measuring with, if you're doing inches, this is the zero line. Okay, so make sure that it lines up with the end of where you're measuring okay that'll help the edge of your your shape that'll help you be a little bit more accurate all right so with your group split up the triangles write the degrees on each angle and then the length on each side now when you go to write them on your paper you're only going to use this column here make sure you write it with the next to the correct uh, um, letter of the triangle. But this is what I want you to do. So you're going to have to write small in there and neat. Whenever you're writing the angle measurement, write angle and then the letter. Okay, so like on this very first one, this is angle X, angle Y, angle Z. You're going to write angle X and the measurement in degrees. Angle Y, the measurement in degrees. Angle Z, the measurement in degrees. And then, this is not like this is not a math formula. This isn't something you have to, to remember. But for today, I want you to add those up. And you should see that every one of those triangles, A through F, equals 180 degrees. 
one of the things that that can help you with in in knowing is that as you're measuring sometimes you don't get it quite lined up correctly um, and you're trying to decide what it is if you look at what angles you're missing you'll know whether uh, you add up to 180 or not it'll just help you adjust the degrees as you need to all right and then remember as you're measuring decide is it a right angle is it acute that's less than 90 or obtuse so you have to remember because our protractor only has one set of numbers all right so if you said it's acute and the angle is going uh, towards this way whatever number you measure subtract from 180 to get that all right so pause and come back when you have all of this filled in and then we're going to look at what you found all right by now hopefully you have done all of the triangles all right so what i want you to do is i want you sorry i'm getting all my stuff i want you to Sorry. I want you to get this out. Every person should have one. All right. We're going to look at classifying these. All right. So you see on this side of the page, it says classification. You know that classify or classification just means sort. All right. So we're going to sort, going to sort by two different attributes. Attributes are like characteristics, two different things. Okay. So this one is going to be side length. Write that on here side length and this one is angle measure all right so we're going to look at how many sides um, are the same how many angle measurements are the same okay so right now this side of your paper should look a lot like this now, one of the things that just messed me up when I was getting ready is I realized I want to erase this. I didn't tell you this. However, um, if you're watching it at home, hopefully when I gave you the paper, I remember to tell you. If you're watching it at school, then your teacher probably told you. These are our line segments. That way you know which side of the triangle you measured. All right? So hopefully you have those written down that way too next to your angle measurements. All right, so I want you to look at triangle A. Really look at your paper. Um, if somehow all your notes on the triangle make it easier, you can look at that. But we're going to start with sides, all right? How many sides measured the same length? Three, good. So write that under side length, okay? I started writing whatever the number was, sides the same, sides the same, sides the same. You don't need to do that. We know that this number under uh, side length is going to be um, what, however many we have the same. So in letter A, all three sides are the same, okay? Um, they measure the same length, okay? What about the angles? How many angles were the same? Three. It, three sides are the same, three angles are the same. All right, so um, let, let's keep going. We're gonna come back to this one. Letter B, how many sides were the same? Two, write it in there. How many angles were the same? Two, write it in there, okay? Triangle three, this one looks very different. How many sides were the same? Zero. They had no sides the same and no angles that were the same length at all. It's totally different. What about letter D? Letter D also had no angles that were the same and it had no side lengths that were the same. So write that down. Okay. Letter E. How many side lengths were the same? Two. Two. It had two of the same and then one um, that was even longer. How many angles were the same? Two. Very good. And what did you notice about one of their angles? It was a right angle. You can even draw that in there. 
if you want to. Do we have another one that had a right angle? Letter D. You can draw that little square in there to show right angle. All right, and then letter F. How many were the same? Two. And how many, or how many sides were the same? And then how many angles were the same? Two. Very good. All right, so we have, um, you've written all, those all down, but we have special names um, for every type of triangle. All right? So I want you to look at letter A. How many sides were the same? Three. They're all equal. So that is called an equilateral triangle. Say equilateral. I'm going to write it here and I want you to write it on side length. Underneath your three, write the word equilateral. This is how you spell equilateral. Write that on there. Uh, it's easy to remember because all the sides are equal and you hear the word equal. However, this is not how we spell equal unless we're saying e spelling equilateral. Okay, so pause that if you need to and write that down. All right, how many triangles or which triangles had two sides that were the same? Equilateral has all three sides and angles that are the same. There are some that have two. Hold those ones up. I found letter B, letter E, and letter F. Those ones had two that were the same. When we have a triangle that has at least two sides and angles that are the same, that one is called an isosceles triangle. So I want you to write that down for letters B, E, and F. If they have at least two sides, they're isosceles. So we call letter A an equilateral because all three sides had the exact same length. So is a, a, an equilateral triangle, is that also an isosceles? Yes, we just call it a special isosceles because instead of just two uh, sides and angles that are the same, it has three. Good, so what about the other ones that we had on there? Letter C and letter D. What's different about these ones? All three sides were totally different. Nothing matched, okay? So when nothing matches, they have zero sides the same. That's called scalene. Say scalene. Okay, write those down um, on letters C and D on the side length. And then I want you to repeat the words. If all three sides are the same, what kind of triangle is that? Equilateral, say equilateral. If at least two sides are the same, what triangle is that? The word is isosceles, say isosceles, isosceles. And if a triangle has zero sides that are the same, that's called scalene. Say scalene, scalene. All right, those are interesting words. Equilateral is the only one that really makes sense. Um, but those are the names of the triangles. All right, so those will be ways that we'll be classifying them when we start looking at triangles, either ones that you're going to draw or just ones you look at. Trying to decide, you'll have to measure the length of the sides and you'll have to measure the, the angles to decide, are they equilateral? Tell me how many sides will be the same. Three, what kind of triangle will it be if it has two sides? Isosceles, um, I should have clarified that, not two sides, you can't have a two-sided triangle, but two sides that are the same, isosceles. And what is it called if it has zero sides the same? Scalene, very good. Now let's look at the angle measurements, all right? Did you find any uh, triangles that had a right angle in it? I know you did because we drew them on there. Which ones? D and E, okay? If a triangle has a right angle in it, first of all, how many right angles could it have? 
only one because it has to equal 180 degrees. So if I had one here, that means this line, if I was gonna have one here, this line segment would have to go straight up and then they can't meet. And all my 180 degrees would be used up. So it can only have one. But if it has a right angle in it, then we call it a right triangle. So on the angle measurement, where you have zero on D and E, right underneath, I want you to write right triangle, R-I-G-H-T. Those are right triangles. So if it has one right angle in it, it's a right triangle, okay? And I want you to uh, look at, let's look at D ones. Okay, does it, does it have any lines of symmetry? Nope, there's nowhere I can, I can uh, fold it. But what I want you to see is, watch this. I'm gonna turn it this way. Here's my right angle. I'm gonna fold this down to meet with my right angle. Now, fold this one over and it, if you match up this corner with the vertex, they should meet. These two angles that I have fit right into my 90 degree angle. So the sum of these two angles equals the right angle. Okay, try that quickly, pause and try it with the other one before we move on to see what uh, we call the other types of triangles we have there. Okay. I want you to see, did you find any triangles that have an obtuse angle? So they have at least one angle that's more than, uh, than 90 degrees. And really, you can only have one. If you had more, um, because 90 degrees it is the right triangle, and anything more than that, even 91 is obtuse, if you had two angles, that were more than 90, it would be 182 degrees for two angles. So you can only have one angle in there that would be obtuse. Find those triangles. Which ones do you have that are obtuse, that have one obtuse angle? I found letter C and letter F. So if it has one obtuse angle, then it is called an obtuse triangle. So under the angle measurement, um, or the this classification, angle measure under where you said it has um, on letter C it has zero angles the same and on letter F it had two angles the same I want you to write that it's an obtuse triangle so then our other triangles letter A and B what kind of angles do these have less than 90 degrees is acute so what kind of triangles do you think these are? Acute, that's pretty easy, right? Acute triangles, so write those down. Okay, that's how we're going to classify them. All right, so um, I want you to look and see, um, look at letter B, triangle B. I want you to fold it on its line of symmetry. Where is that at? Be right down the middle. And the fact that your angles meet up, make my neater, there we go. Your angles meet up and the sides match up, you know that it has two that are the exact same, two angles or two lines that are the exact same length. What kind of triangle is this? It has at least two sides that are the exact same length. Isosceles, very good. All right, how about letter A? Find all its lines of symmetry. You might have to flip it around. Should be able to fold it right here. That lines up, open it back up. I can fold it along here again. Whichever angle I have pointing up, that is my line of symmetry. Because this is what kind of triangle? Did you say equilateral? All three sides are the same. So it actually has three lines of symmetry. 
But if you're like me, I'm very visual. I can't just look at that and see it. I have to flip it in order to see it. All right, we're going to look at drawing some triangles now. All right, so I want you to get your graph paper, your grid paper, and you are going to draw a triangle. Now, what I want you to be careful, we're gonna draw a few triangles. So draw up here and don't make it too large, all right? So we have probably four triangles to draw, so you might want to um, either look at it and see or fold your paper in half and then half again. And that gives you four sections to draw in, so you don't make it too large. So I want you to draw three points in order to uh, use your straight edge to connect the dots in order to make a triangle, all right? So if I was to put them all, all three points, one, two, three, all on the same line, could I make a triangle? No, because it'd be a straight line. So at least one of them has to be um, off of the same line, all right? So I want you to draw your triangle, and then I want you to trade with a partner, and the partner is going to try to see, can they classify your triangle? Is it equilateral, isosceles, or scaling? Equilateral, all three sides are the same. Isosceles, two sides are the same, and uh, scaling, none of the sides are the same, right? Um, I want them to do that and I want them to see if it has an acute angle, a right angle, or an obtuse angle, all right? So when you're doing that for your partner, write the answers right on the side. Is it equilateral, isosceles, or scaling, obtuse, right, or acute angle? Do that quickly. All right, did you classify it? I want you to practice talking, all right? Um, you know I love writing, but I don't want us to take so much time with all the measuring that we did that right now we're just gonna talk about it. But you know that you're going to eventually have to be writing about this too because you have to be able to explain what you're doing. So I want you to take um, about a minute, max is, Oh, I'm not even gonna say two minutes, a minute and a half. So that's 45 seconds for each person. And I want you to use complete sentences to tell your partner what their triangle is. All right, so it could sound like this. My partner's, or your triangle, if I was talking to somebody else, I'd say my partner. If I'm talking to the person, I just say you. Your triangle is an obtuse scalene triangle. And then tell them how you know it. I measured the angles, I measured the, the sides to figure that out. There was an obtuse angle and none of the sides were the same. I used my, tell them what you used, I used my ruler and my protractor to answer that, okay, or to figure it out. So you're going to tell them the type, okay, there's two types, right? Tell them the type of triangle, the name of it um, based on the sides, and then the name of it based on the angles. You're going to tell them how you know and what you used to figure it out. All right? So pause it on this and then talk quickly. All right. Did you talk about it? Let's construct or draw some triangles. So you're going to need your protractor and your straight edge. Um, really, you need the ruler, not just a straight edge because we're going to have to measure certain things. All right, so we are going to make an obtuse isosceles triangle. So how many sides have to be the same? Have to have um, at least two sides that are the same. And if it's an obtuse triangle, we know that one of the angles has to be what? More than 100 degrees, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make our triangle 100 degrees, all right? One of the angles, okay? So what I want you to do is just draw a dot, draw a point, use your protractor, make the hole goes over the dot, 
and then this line lines up with the line on the grid, and then measure it to 100 degrees and just put another dot. All right? Now you can see how long that will be or where it will be at. Okay, but what I want is I want each side of our triangle, uh, the two sides that are the same, each of it to be two inches. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my ruler upside down for the bottom dot. I'm going to move this over. Okay, and I'm going to line it up with my 100 degree dot, just like this. Once it's lined up, then you can measure two inches and draw the line, okay? So this was two inches and I drew the line to my dot. That dot doesn't matter, it's just kind of hanging out up there. All right, so now I need this line right here because I used this line to measure, so it's part of my angle, measure that to be two inches long. Okay. If it goes over into your other pasture fold, you're okay. Okay, mine goes over just a little bit. You're just fine. Okay, so measure that and then draw the line. It should be straight on. And then how am I going to find the other angle? I'm just going to connect the dots. Here's right now is just an angle. There's my vertex. There's the end of one line segment, the end of another. Use your straight edge and draw your line. All right, triangles should look a lot like this. So now we're going to mark our endpoints. Okay, so this is going to be A, B, C. Write it on there. You could have used any letters, but we're doing A, B, C. C. So this is triangle A, B, C. So what I want you to do is just over on the side, I want you to write that. So you get used to seeing that and writing it. If you see this, this is talking about triangle A, B, C. Okay. Now I want you to make just a little tick, a little um, almost like a tally mark on the two sides that have the same length. It's this one and this one. Okay, that shows us that they're the same. This one has a different length, so we don't need to mark it. Okay, and then this was 100 degrees, we know that. Pause and measure to see what these two are. Did you find that they were each 40 degrees? Okay, so what kind of triangle did we make? What, how many sides are the same? Two, so we know it's isosceles. Uh-oh, I don't have it right in front of me anymore, so I forgot the spelling. You have it, oh, it's on the other side. You have it, it's I-S-O-S, -S. yep, I was right. It just started to look weird. It's I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S. It's an isosceles, but what type of angle does it have? One that is obtuse. So it's an, isos an obtuse isosceles. Okay? Write that above it. All right? And then we're going to make, this time, a right scalene triangle. So if it's a right scalene triangle, first of all, it's scalene. How many sides are the same? zero. None of them are the same. But I use the word right in it. So what does it have to have in it? it? has to have a right angle. Okay. Now you can use your protractor except that this is grid paper and these are all squares. So I know anywhere I put on here, there's a right angle right here. Okay. So I want you to make a triangle. I'm going to make one also. Measure to make sure your sides are not the same. All right? So it'll be easy measuring on the grid up and across, but measure as you connect the dots to make sure they are not the same. Did you draw yours? Mine was just a small one. So what kind of angle does it have in it? 
It has a right angle. So I know that this is right, R-I-G-H-T. And how many sides are the same? Zero. How many tick marks am I gonna use to show the same sides? Zero. So that's a right, what else? Scalene. It has the word scale, S-C-A-L-E, and then N-E on it. Scalene. It's a right scalene triangle. All right, I want you to put some uh, letters on there that go in order. You choose your letters. I'm gonna use D-E-F. And then I want you to write your triangle with whatever letters you put right to the side there. All right. So just for some extra practice, um, on your own, you're not gonna check it on here, but you are gonna check it with a partner. On your own, you, you should have one more drawn. I didn't make my first one like you did. I want you to draw one more that's different, okay? Um, so we've already done an isosceles and a scalene. Maybe you wanna do an equilateral. It's totally up to you. I want you to draw another triangle different than this one. And then um, again, trade with your partner and do the same thing. Your partner is going to classify it. You're gonna classify your partners and you're going to talk about it. What two types of triangles are they? So is it equilateral, scalene, or isosceles? Does that have a right angle, obtuse angle, or acute angles? How do you know? What did you do to figure that out? Um, and what you used, what tools you used. All right, after you've done that, you've practiced and you've asked any other questions you have. Um, I'm gonna show that again at the end so you can, uh, you can pause it on there as you talk. You're going to do the problem set. Use those triangles as you need. I would use this paper. Don't lose this paper yet. Um, we're going to be doing quadrilaterals starting tomorrow. Quad means four. So quadrilaterals have how many sides do you think? Four. But we're going to keep those two papers together. So when you go to do your show me at the end of the unit, you can use these to help remember um, what types of triangles there are. So use this paper and work on this. All right, so this side has um, classifying them, drawing and classifying on the bottom. And then on this side, you're going to be constructing them. So you'll need to use your uh, ruler and your protractor. All right, so very quickly, talk about that last triangle you made and then work on your problem set.